Oh, this is hell. Oh, what happened to that crystal? Where is this? You stand before the final dimension, and I am the darkness of eternity. Who, who are you? All life bears death from birth. Life fears death, but lives only to die. It starts with anxiety. Anxiety becomes fear. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. And hate leads to suffering. The only cure for this fear is total destruction. Kuja was a victim of his own fear. He concluded he could only save himself by destroying the origin of all things. The crystal. What the heck are you talking about? Why are you telling me all this? Now, the theory isn't deniable. Kuja's actions proves it. All things live to perish. At last, life has uncovered this truth. Now, it is time to end this world. What? What, what do you mean by that? I exist for one purpose. To return everything back to zero world. Where there is no life and no crystal to give life. In a world of nothing, fear does not exist. This is the world that all life deserves. Who the hell do you think you are? You're not ending anything. Never! Not as long as we have the will to live. Foolish creature. Your fears have already deluded you. One day, you will choose destruction over existence, as Kuja did. When he sought to destroy the crystal, the purpose of life ended. Now come, enter the zero world that you desire. No! We'll destroy you and prove you wrong. And through our memories, future generations will see that we can overcome any fear. We can't give up now. We have to fight together. Even if we lose, it doesn't matter. Our memories will live on inside others. So even if we are born to die, I'm not afraid. I'm gonna live. Ooh. We're going down together. Me, Kuro, Thimble, Iris. Let's go. Come back after you kill bad guy. I prefer big meal for everyone. What? What? Did Kuro just eat that guy's soul up? <laughs> Don't screw up. Yo, this is insane! I'm getting it! They're putting their souls in, 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 in them so that they can live! Ooh, damn! This is insane, bro! I leave everything in your hands. Actually, Freya is such a solid character. If Kuro or like Iris, I don't know, man. If one of them fail me, oh, I'm gonna be so pissed. Most of the game, Freya had to sit out, but honestly, she's a solid character. Promise me you'll win? Oh my god. Oh my god. Will to live, huh? Will to live. What's going on? We've come too far to lose now. Let's just wrap this up and go home. All of us. Are we in purgatory? Are we in purgatory? Are we finding that building? Oh my goodness. Kuja was in the boss. It's this dude. Or, or thing. What? Oh, look how small we are, man.
I might throw out Timbal for... If we lose this, I might throw out Timbal for... Uh, Freya. But damn, I'm gonna have to redo the whole battle. Necrocon. His name's Necrocon. Oh, dear me. <gasps> we tranced! Oh, come on. I, I wasted it. We're gonna play it safe. Kiraga every... Wait. Kiraga every day. Oh. My. Goodness. Oh my! Grand Lethal. What's going on here? Ooh. Protect. That means only magic work. Yo. Damn. Thundaga. Okay, he's clearly using... He's clearly using all his spells. The Grand Cross. Hey, Ragnarok! Let me guess. I don't know about this fight, honestly. I feel like I'm gonna get my ass... Slapped. He destroying planets just to kill four dudes well three dudes and one girl but he destroying planets out here i'm dead come on man how are you gonna kill me i was trans that's like that's the biggest disrespect i've ever seen in my life Oh my gosh, no damage. Wow. Protect and shell? What am I supposed to... Wait. Iris is enraged? Oh, we did. He had three turns. He had three turns. We had three turns. Keep our healer alive. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Neutron ring? Well, I'm not even... I'm not even surprised. Yeah, this fight, I'm going all hands. I'm going everywhere. I'm going everywhere. I'm going to use elixirs, ethers. I'm using everything. This better be the last fight, though. Because I'm going to start using all my items. Oh, my God. I don't think I'm going to win this one. So, Tempo, just do your best, bro. I'm not giving up until I see that game over screen, you know? This is a pretty disgusting boss fight. Why am I still alive? Yes, Grand Lethal, here we go, baby! Oh, yeah, man. Look at my life. Wait, Blizzaga? On who? Oh, he did. I feel like this Grand Cross thing, I... Have I seen this in Persona? I feel like I've seen this in Persona Grand Cross, yeah. The same ability, but different like... Okay, clearly. What the heck? No one died? I have Grand Lethal. He has Grand Cross. Oh my god, Iris, please don't die on me. Don't die on me, girl. Don't die on me. We're not landing too many hits. We've used all our grand lethals. Actually, we have one more. And that's it. Thimble's turn. But I don't know. I don't really know what his thing is. Blue Shockwave. Whose health is gonna go? Bye-bye. Thimble? He had nothing. Oh, I tranced. 
That's nine nine. That's like four nine nine nines. Yeah, boy. Why defy your fate? Oh, I'm sorry, Kuro. I I <laughs> I disrespected him. Even at the final battle, I just left him there. Is the will to live that powerful? This fight, man. This fight was done the nails, man. Oh, phase two. I knew it. This is not the end. I am eternal. As long as there is life. And death. Okay, you hang in the balance. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we got no problems with that. Kuja's dead now, so no one else will threaten the balance, you know? Oh, God. That was something else. That's the Aoife tree. Hey, we got back. Just us two? Just us two? Are you alright? Yeah, but look what's happening. So what Koo just said was true. The Aoife tree is beginning its violent reaction. What's gonna happen? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. I doubt anyone could have survived that explosion. No! Captain! They are still alive. What? Where are they? Over there. The Hildegard is probably closer. You! A tall one. Sir! A Hagen Pluto Knight 8, ma'am. I didn't ask for your name. Contact the Hildegard right away. Yes, sir. Ma'am. Sir. <laughs> oh, God. Please be alive. Sire, we're receiving a transmission from the Red Rose. Punch it up to the main line. This is the Red Rose. You're not General Beatrix. Who are you? My name is Mikoto. Everyone is allowed. You are very close to them. What? How do you know? I can hear it. Who? Prepare to land immediately. Aye aye, Captain. Capitan! Oh my gosh. Yo, cutscene! I love it. I love when these games have cutscenes. They're like gold, you know? It's a treasure to be found. Oh, is that too? It's not bad. That's the Hildegard 3? Looks like Sid came to rescue us. Sid! Thank heavens you're all safe. Come quickly. We don't have much time. Kuro, Kuro, man, put some put some speed into your running. Farewell, Pat. Ah, damn it! What's wrong? Why don't you go on ahead? I'll catch up with you all later. I have to take care of something. What? He's still alive. He can't be. Bat, what are you doing? Thimble. Take care of Iris. What? What? What do you mean by that? Who's just still alive? I can't just leave him. This is ludicrous. Just because you two are from the same planet doesn't mean. 
No. That's not the reason. Come on, Pat! Why are you doing this? Because... Because I might have done the same thing if I were in his shoes. I probably would have fought against you guys and wreaked havoc in Gaia like he did. I know it sounds crazy, but I know deep down inside, I have to do this. You're not crazy, Pat. But you go help Kuja, not good idea. He's too dangerous. I can't just leave him. There's no way I could live without with myself. I'm going. You're making a big mistake. Maybe. But we all have to make big decisions in life sometimes. For me, now is that time. I have to face up to it, just like Kuro did when he confronted his fears to find out about himself. That was a big decision for Kuro. I don't know about that. I don't think it was really a big deal. That's what you think, but I might not be doing this if it weren't for you. You've definitely taught me to take life more seriously. Well, you're obviously not going to change your mind, so I'm coming with you. The principle of knighthood requires that one assist his comrade in times of need. I shall accompany you as well. Whoa, wait a minute. Like I said, it's my moment, so don't butt in. You guys will have your own someday. Besides, you guys have more important things to worry about, like Bermesha and Alexandria. For once in your life, why can't you be honest? Sorry, but I can't. I can't just walk away. It goes against my nature. Hey, shut up, Gasper. You... you <laughs> I don't want to hear that from you. You're a real simpleton. Simpleton. Forget it, guys. There's no stopping this fool. What are you still doing out there? Get on board right now. Come on. Let's just leave him and get out of here. That guy will never change. Alright, you heard the man. Get out of here before it's too late. See, he took the... Uh, he took the first opportunity. He's like, peace. <laughs> peace. <laughs> Pat, I love you. Do you better come back? Pat, I need to eat more different food. I'm so hungry. You need, no, you need to come back. Take me more places. Show me more food. I still can't believe you're doing this. You've changed, Pat. Till we meet again. Pat, you've taught me another big lesson in life. Thanks. Hey, Kuro, pull up those pants. Pull up those pants, man. Pull, <laughs> pull up those pants. You're a big boy now. Ah, oh, he's got big shoes to fit in. Pat. Princess. We must go. Yo, Pat is a legend. Pat is a legend, man. Iris, I mean, your highness. The abduction is over. I can't take you any further. I'm sorry for being so selfish. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. First CD, you know? We're gonna kidnap the princess. Dude, I can't believe how far we've derailed from that mission. No, you're not being selfish. You've done so much for us. If it weren't for you, I probably would have led a meaningless life. With you, I was able to see so much of the world and meet so many people. Right. <laughs> we faced many hardships too, but I think I finally know what's important. I'm so fortunate to have met you. I'll never forget our trip together. Thank you, Pat. 
Hey, Thimble's got his back. You know, you know what we're waiting for. Hey, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pr promise me one thing. Please come back. How am I going to come back? How am I going to come back? But this farewell is a big flag, man. Wow. This farewell is a big flag. I don't like where this is going. <sighs> damn, damn, buddy boy. Pat, let's go. Kuja, can you hear me? I'm coming to get you. You still have time. Forget, Forget about, about me and go. Just shut up and stay where you are. I don't, I don't understand, understand you. you. Alright, we go. Here goes nothing. Wait, I thought I was gonna fight Kuja. He's stuck in the Ephid. Oh, we should help him. Yeah, we should help him. This is pretty crazy. Are those roots? Wow. What are... Oh, everybody's out to get me. That's pretty crazy. Are those like... Yeah, they're vines. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't know, I guess, because the game was... It's not up to scale, right? This is how big Aoife Tree is. It's massive. myself uh, uh, huh phew still alive I guess that was pretty crazy well Kuja I'm coming hey are you alright but What are you doing here? I thought I told you to go. Wouldn't you do the same for me if you knew I was dying? Never mind. Your comrades were able to escape. Yeah, I knew you had something to do with it. I'm glad they made it. Yeah, well... It's our turn to get moving. I don't deserve to live after all I've done. I'm useless to this world. No one's useless. You helped us escape, remember? After you guys beat me, I had nothing left, nothing more to lose. That I finally realized what it means to live. I guess I was too late. Huh? Hey! Don't you go dying on me, alright? What? Kuja, 
What you did was wrong. But you gave us all one thing. Hope. We were all created for the wrong reason, but you alone defied our fate. We don't want to forget this. We want your memory to live on forever. To remind us that we were not created for the wrong reason, that our life has meaning. So who, who, who's speaking? Sometime later. Hey, Kuro. Big boy pants, eh? Show, this is Alexandria. What? Pick up the page, will ya? I don't believe it, Kuro. Kuro? How do you know that name? What are you talking about? It's me, Puck. How could you forget me? Puck? Oh, you know Puck. The Prince of Burmesia? Oh, come on, what's wrong with you? If you're not Kuro, then who are you? I'm... Kuro's son? Whoa! Look at all the Kuros. So what happened to my Kuro? I always talked about you, Pat. It was Kuro! How oh, you were a very special person to us. Because you taught us all how important life is. It was Kuro! Hey, Freya. What's his name again? Albert? I don't even know his name anymore. In Alexandria. I went there many years ago. Hey Freya, at least you got a good ending, eh? How long will it take to rebuild Promesia? I don't care, as long as I'm with you. Hey, Freya got a good ending. Still, whole city gone. But at least you got a partner. Yeah, he still doesn't remember. <laughs> ah well, Freya, it's okay. Take your time. Just want to cherish our time right now. Yeah. You taught me that life doesn't last forever. That's why we have to help each other. And live life to the fullest. It's time to say goodbye to this room. Save the queen, you have served me well. Oh yeah. Definitely save the queen. My duty is finished here. Farewell, Alexandria. Why? 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 Even if you say goodbye, you'll always be in our hearts. So I know we're not alone anymore. I don't understand that one with Beatrix. Did she retire? Hey. I forgot about the bounty hunters. They just gave up on us, huh? <laughs> Why I was born? How I wanted to live? Thanks for giving me time to think. Kuro, you had like 40 something episodes to think. You got all the time you needed. Good food, not only delicious. Good food, 
Dog made with heart. Oh yes, Licky. <laughs> oh, I always thought Licky was very like scary, but he's actually such a fun character. To keep doing what you shed your heart on is a very hard thing to do. We were all so courageous. I hope it's Kuro speaking. Because it's... Oh, Violet. <laughs> She's pestering um, Sid and his wife. <laughs> the theater ship is no match for my ship. My new field of guard is the fastest ship ever. Do I have to remind you? You said the same thing about the theater ship. Look at the wife. Just not impressed. She's like, boys and ships. Boys and their toys, right? Darling, she just called you father. Wow. 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 Wow, dude, I, I'm speechless. What to do when I felt lonely? That was the only thing you couldn't teach me. But we need to figure out the answer for ourselves. Bro, Sid adopting Violet, man. That hits deep, man. Ejix, where are you going? Please don't ask. My mind is already set. Wait, wait, listen to me. Come on, they won't get your game on, dude. It's the end of the game. Oh yeah, I never wish to lose you again. Thimble. Let us protect the queen together. He got his game on. Hey, yeah, I can't, I can't even be mad. I'm so happy I met everyone. I wish we could have gone on more adventures. But I guess we all have to say goodbye someday. Why? Because the, the, the wizards are gone now, right? Like the, the mist? So does that mean Kuru died? Because the mist is gone? No way, because I just saw a bunch of like, black mages walking around town. What? That is gone, dude. He actually perished. Everyone. Thank you. Farewell. <laughs> My memories will be part of the sky. <sighs> it was... It was an otter serving the princess. Yo, this game was so lit, man. Hey, at least Beatrix came back. It'll never be the same. Pat's, Pat's dead, huh? Ah, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. Our heroine, Princess Cornelia, is torn from her lover, Marcus. She attempts to flee the castle, only to be captured by her father, King Leo. Tonight's story begins when Marcus and Cornelia decides to run away together. And now, your royal majesty, Queen Garnet, Lord Thimble, Lady Beatrix. Uh-huh, everybody, y'all pro pro proudly presents <laughs> one of your canary. <laughs> that was too fast, dude. Marcus? 
Oh, sweet Marcus. I, so f- I fear I love thee more than I should. Bruises. Blow me, Abby. Okay, it's too fast, man. But we've seen this play before. After our nip- nuptials. Nuptials? It's like Romeo and Juliet. Pray, my love, make me the canary to keep forever in the cage of thy bosom. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. This is where things get hectic. Good day to you, Highness. Good day. Where's thee of Marcus? Marcus? What news dost thou bring? This! Ooh! Oh, I thought she was stabbed. I don't remember it being that bloody. The time for our departure is long past. Where's Cornelia? <laughs> Sina, wear a t-shirt, my guy. Oh, ye this boat alone. It's it's going too fast. I can't read it. Oh, I thought it was a Final Fantasy theme song, man. Could she have betrayed me? No. I must have faith. She shall appear if I only believe. performance <laughs> that caught me so off guard wow wow I honestly thought that was like the what was that guy's name again their boss Baku Oh my gosh. No! What is that? Oh, it's a part of the gym. Take it back. Wow. Wow, you see that? You see that? She's like, screw all these gemstones and all of that. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Kuro. Violet. Hey, my squad rolled up.
damn, dude. Damn, dude. Wow. What? How did you survive? I didn't have a choice. I had to live. I wanted to come home with you. Or to you. So, I sang your song. Our song. I just, I don't understand what happened to Kuro, man. How did he duplicate himself like that? That was too good. Oh my god, a soundtrack. Fantasy, yeah! Fantasy! Awesome. And look, it's the uh, crystal. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That's it, man. Final Fantasy IX. <sighs> uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to the dining room. <laughs> I'm recording this video just because I didn't like the way I was saying things at the last bit. I was recording for two hours. And let's be honest. Let's be real. My mind, my brain was not <laughs> in a good state to talk because uh, when you're talking while playing or talking for so long you don't really get enough oxygen I'm gonna be honest here you don't get enough oxygen to your brain so you're not thinking clearly that's as blunt as I could say so my first point here was that I really love the game the way they designed it like a I keep saying it, it they designed it like a Disney game now, that's not bad because I'm what 20 I'm in my 20s now I'm 23 and uh, I still kind of respect Disney movies not now nowadays I don't know what they're doing Disney animated movies like you know Hercules all of that Snow White the game felt like that you know uh, the way the people were designed the humans weren't like they didn't look like actual humans you know like the, the figure they had like big heads here they had like small body or whatever. Look at Thimble. His legs were like non-existent. I like the, the way they designed the background where they have the background drawn and the character is just, I don't know what they call it, but the character is just moving around that picture. You know, it's a still picture. Uh, I, I talked about the audio, the soundtracks, music, everything. It's glorious. If you listen to games that have one theme, Persona 4, I keep using that as a good reference for what not to do, honestly, in like, they have this theme of jazz, like anything heavy brass instrument. It's it's very limited. The, the range of music and sound that you can do with jazz and using brass instruments to show like emotional scenes, it's not, it's not good, it's, it's very limited. But yeah, it's orchestra, so you, you have all all sorts of instruments playing. The story is not too complex to understand. Maybe a, maybe a six-year-old, seven-year-old might have a hard time understanding it. But maybe if a 10-year-old picks up the game, they they could see, right? They, they have this like level of understanding what's taking place in fantasy games. There's romance in it. Romance, man. I like, I like when you sprinkle in some romance. I have those main three points. The other points that I was talking about is kind of irrelevant. I honestly would rate the game as 9.5 out of 10. The 0.5 lack of certain information. I played the game without any help. You guys helped me out a bit in the comments and that's good. Thank you so much for doing so. But I really was trying to play the game without any support. I missed a lot of things. 
So you really have to like game facts or, you know, walk through forum your way through. I remember Final Fantasy 12. I had my computer open at the same time. I was like, uh, how do I get through the mines? And you're just scrolling through. It's like, okay, there's an item there. Like, I, I gotta go back. I don't like playing like that. It ruins the experience, especially for a first time playing a playthrough. And so I do kind of want a little bit of hand holding. If the game gives you the chance to go back, you gotta take the opportunity to go back. But for me, I kept going forward because that's what the characters are doing. They're like, okay, we're gonna go to the mountain. All right, let's go to the mountain. But when they say, oh, we're gonna go to the mountain, what really happens is the world map opens up. You could roam. You could go anywhere you want. I was looking at the mountain. Maybe I'll stop by this town nearby, pick up an item there, do something there, talk to the people there, but go to the mountain. Some people are like going all the way back to the beginning of the game. That's the only reason, 0.5. I didn't even deduct a score for the random battles. Two reasons why. Do I even have two reasons? One reason why. You could escape using Zidane's fully ability. It's not like you have to, okay, they give you the feature to hold L1 and R1, and then your characters are running backwards, and then the monsters keep attacking you, and you do take hits, and then you flee. But it takes some time. Some games, you use the flee button, or you take a turn, and cast flee, and then you fail. Like, what? What? So if I, if I see like a behemoth, and I've killed 80 behemoths, and I'm like, come on, bro. You got nothing else to give me. So I'm just gonna flee. If I click flee, I'm gone. I'm gone. The only thing you cannot flee is, is, is the boss. Some games, man, they force you to, to stay. You do the flee, and then you fail. You flee, fail, flee, fail. Who designed such, such madness? The characters are lovable, man. I still don't understand what happened to Kuro. Like, he just shadow clone jutsu himself. What happened to Kuja? Did he die? Because we saved him. I don't care, man. Kingdom saved. Kingdom saved most of the characters that are alive. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for following this series. It was really fun to play. I have no cons about the game, honestly. I can't even say that the graphics is bad. Bro, it's a PS1. Like, what can I say about it? There's cutscenes in a PS1 game. That's revolutionary. I have one con. One con. Square Enix. Bro, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Why you remaster the game, take the mobile port and shit all over the game? You 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 let these modders do the job. Just give them the resource to make another remake, man. Just let them let them remake the game for you. I don't understand. Why are you spitting and shitting all over this like the old games? Okay, Final Fantasy VII remake is is good. All right, it's good. I, you guys did that right. But like ten. 10 remaster, remake, whatever you want to call that. Nine? What is that, bro? What is that? I can't even ask my friends to buy that, like the remaster, because it's like an embarrassment. What did you guys improve on? What did you improve on? I, that's why I played the PS1 version of the Final Fantasy IX, because it looked like it fit its time. Now, if I bought Final Fantasy IX on my PS4, what the hell is that? Anyways, I'm done. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next series. Peace out. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.